here. Why isn't it here? Oh, fuck. Shit, take it easy, Andre. These documents are over 30 years old. Who knows where they ended up by now? The captain said we have to find them. It's really important. It, it's for the research division. Hey, 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 check it out. Some kind of transfer order. It's got a KGB stamp on it. Should be in a museum. All documents, memorandums, and reports are scheduled for immediate transfer to secure storage in Bunker 007. Hmm. It's dated April of 86. Looks like they moved all the important records after the Chernobyl disaster. We can find the bunker later. Just keep searching, see what else we can dig up. The KGB operator's nickname. <laughs> I'll probably never know who he really was.
Maybe I should rearm the traps. What? Why? Whoever's after us will most likely come here looking for clues. Wouldn't it be prudent to... To what? Use this opportunity to try and thin the NAR ranks? Exactly. Look, I've done my fair share of killing, but I don't like that plan at all. God knows who might wander down here. What if a civilian walks in one of the traps? You're right, it's too risky. I can't chance killing some Samuel who went exploring. Good. I'm glad you agree. You're finally starting to think like a military man. Hello. 
fellow prospector. I'm looking for someone. A tall, hunched man with long brown hair. Maybe you've seen him. No, I'm sorry. What's this all about? I'm looking for my brother, Athanasius. He vanished without a trace a while back. I've been looking everywhere. And what have you both been doing here anyway? The zone's a dangerous place. Well, don't expect me to reveal our trade secrets, but... Well, let's just say there are many unclaimed riches still here in Pripyat. Really? Like what? You've got a nice aura. I'll let you discover that for yourself. I've got a nice... what? <sighs> Never mind. I'm looking for someone as well. I'll keep an eye out for your brother. Thank you, my good sir. May Lady Luck smile upon your prospecting. Let's see what you've got, pal. Do you have any... hotter stuff? I thought you would never ask. Safe travels, my friend. Oh, and take this. Perhaps it will come in handy. Good day, mate. Hi, McKeel. I wanted to ask you something. How long have you been in the zone? Oh, years. Can't remember exactly. Some of those years are pretty wild if you catch my drift. But it feels like forever. Have you always been a stalker? Not always. Before I embraced this lifestyle, I did some other things. Bug shit crazy dangerous things. Hey, you've got my attention. You gotta do what you gotta do to survive, am I right? I used to pick blueberries and sell them. It was really fucking hazardous stuff. How is picking blueberries dangerous? You don't know your own shitty ass from your elbow, Professor Fancy Pants. But allow Uncle Mikhail to bring you up to speed. Blueberries are freaking irradiated as shit. Mushrooms, too. 
I was dealing with this guy who worked as a border guard, right? He used to search any 18-wheelers or lorries coming through, anytime they flashed red on the radiation monitors. First time I met him, he was shitting bricks. He thought somebody was smuggling a dirty bomb into the European Union. But it wasn't a radiological device. It was fucking blueberries from Pripyat. Oh, my. This load exceeded the norm four to six times over. I kid you not, sir. It's not gonna kill you outright, but it certainly isn't healthy. Even with all those antioxidants. Fascinating. Did they put a stop to it? <laughs> of course not. The exporters just started diluting the more glowing blueberries with the less glowing ones, so the cargo wouldn't trigger the alarm. And so, glow-in-the-dark blueberries traveled to Poland, and from there to the rest of the European Union. <laughs> what irony. In the end, everyone gets a taste of the Chernobyl disaster. Mikhail, you've been around. You could- Perhaps a fuck gathering and Actually, want to trade? Just make it fucking- 